Hey guys, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. First, make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it. Comment whatever you want to comment. Subscribe for more just amazing content. And also, uh, turn on that bell to know when I post. Um, it's every Thursday, but you know, maybe you won't remember. So you should definitely turn on that bell. And also make sure to follow my two Instagrams. My makeup one where I just pretty much post all my makeup looks, which is Modified Makeup by Mad. And then also my personal one, which is literally what I post on the most. If you wanna just like kinda get to know me more, see me, all about me, just Madeline McBride underscore. Okay, great, we can get right into it. I got my Ipsy October bag. I just like to show what I got, you know? Just some makeup stuffs. Uh, here it is. Real quick also, I do have a coupon code for Hawaiian Cosmetics. It is a small business where they make lashes. So if you wanna get 15% off your lashes, put in code Maddie with a Y. I'll put the link in the description. Let's just get right into it, okay? All right, awesome. Okay, so their October bag seems to have a kind of like a witchy little spiritual, it almost looks like an astrological kind of thing with it, which is pretty cool. That's definitely my thing. Um, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I'm really into like reading tarot cards and stuff. So I was like, yeah. Oh, and on the back it says your magic, which is really nice, thanks. Let's open Miss Thing up. So I've already like opened this and kind of skimmed through it, but I haven't really like tried anything out yet or like really took it out of the packaging. Um, this one, this month, says your magic with a pinch of shimmer and a wave of your mascara wand. This month, cast a spell on yourself, whether it's nailing the perfect smoke yard or taking that big life leap. Let your intuition guide you to your goals. Okay, cool. Something cool. I also get the Glam ba Bag Plus. So I get all full-size items, but I only get five things still, which is pretty nice. I think it's $25 a month, um, which is a very nice deal. And they also made a new thing where they pick two things for you, but your other three things you can pick yourself, which I was like, yes. Because yes. sometimes it would get frustrating with Ipsy where you do the quiz and sometimes you felt like you were kept getting the same stuff. That's pretty nice. So let's go in for the first big thing here, which is this Moods palette by Laura Sanchez. It looks like this. Let's take off this little thing. It says the same thing, except now she has a little crystal ball. And it looks like, it's like a rainbow palette, which I'm happy about because I use those more than like, you know, neutral colors. So it looks like this. We have, you know, some of that. We do have two highlight shades, which is awesome. And then a little um, brush. Oh, that's actually a lot better than I thought. It looked like a little plasticky one, but it's actually very nice. That's a nice blending brush it comes with. And it also has an angled brush on the other end, but it's a little chonky, like it's a little thick. So I don't know what I would use it for. Also, quick disclaimer I wanna say is I'm sorry that I don't post makeup tutorials yet. That was kind of the whole reason why I made YouTube, but I also am a full-time student and that takes a lot of time to sit down and do those, but I will someday when I have more time, but I also like making videos like this. And also again, follow my Instagram, Modified Makeup by Mad, if you wanna see all my makeup looks. And also comment on ones you want tutorials on because I will make them. Um, so I'm just gonna test out a couple of these. I know this isn't the best way to do swatches, but we're just gonna get a little taste of some of these. Oh, that blue's really nice. Oh, all right. So some of the shimmers, as you can see, that blue one is like really showing up, but then that yellow is a little not there. But also, like I said, these are finger swatches. Those aren't, you know, <laughs> the best ones to do. I also want to try one of these highlighting shades because I freaking love highlighters and that is really nice. That is a really nice highlighting shade. This one, I'm definitely gonna have to give it a try. Um, I do have a lot of rainbow palettes, but I love using different brands and like seeing which ones I like the most. So that's the Moods palette by Laura Sanchez. All right, next. So I have actually gotten this before and I liked it a lot, is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. And it helps refine the appearance of pores and deep cleans pores. So this is definitely something you don't wanna use all the time. I only exfoliate my face once a week because I feel like the more you do it, it's just really like a lot for your skin. But yes, I used to use this all the time. I ran out, I'm using another exfoliator and I definitely will put this 
back in the rotation once I, f once I finish the other one I'm using right now. It used to be black packaging. I don't know why that one is blue, but okay. Next thing is we have a palette by, oh, Lovecraft Beauty. Um, it is just an eyeshadow palette, it says. Oh, okay, cool. So these are dark colors. Looks like there's a black in there, and I do love some black eyeshadow. Yes. Oh, there's also a white. That's sweet, dude. So there is some neutral shades. They have kind of like a shimmery navy color in there and black and white. Let me make sure my fingers are kind of cleaned off, and I'm gonna swatch this black. Oh, okay. All right, so that black, based off of how it looks on my finger, looks really sick. I'm gonna swatch it on my freaking wrist dude okay so it looks like these ones are definitely buildable i can kind of just tell by looking at it the black is definitely there let me see if i get another swatch of that black and put it on there yeah it looks like the black does darken up the more you layer it which is nice i don't know i love like plain colors like that that i can kind of use to mix other ones to either like lighten up or darken an eyeshadow look so I'm really excited about this palette. Next! So this is the Double Feature Lip Fondant and Gloss by Half Caked. And it looks like a little, like, movie theater ticket. You know, like, going into the movies. Uh, don't remember doing that. Um, love quarantine. I hope someone watches this in, like, five years and they're like, damn, remember? But anyways, it's two lip balms. No, lip fondant and gloss. So I think it's, like, a double thing where it's, like, a lipstick. Like, a liquid lipstick. Get the fuck out bro lord <laughs> oh i don't like how that looks all right if you guys have trypophobia that is definitely what this is giving me vibes of let me see if i could focus on this please are you seeing that at all there's like little tiny bubbles in it and it's like high heat freaking me out but that's apparently the gloss and i actually do have a lipstick by half caked and I really like it, but I'm gonna swatch it real quick. So this is a fondant. Is it does it dry matte? It just it's in the color ASAP. And then this is just a gloss. I can't tell if that dries matte or not, if I'm gonna be honest. This gloss does not want to open. It didn't want to come out of the package. It doesn't want to open. Okay, that's a pretty gloss. It's like a peachy kind of color, and then the fondant is definitely like a um hmm, what would you describe that? I'd say like Dude, I'm so bad at describing colors, so please don't come for me. This is like a dark, pinky nude. That's what they look like. I'll let you know maybe in a little bit if this dries matte, but obviously the other one's a gloss. Smell to- That gloss smells fucking good. That, like, is taking me back to a gloss I used to wear when I was younger. I don't remember what it is, but it smells so fucking good, dude. Super excited about that. Holy shit. I love glosses that smell good. Ones that aren't overpowering, but just smell nice. You know what I mean? Here's our last thing. It's by Dr. Lip, I think. Is that what it says? It's like in cursive. It is superfood tints. Apparently there's only five 100% natural ingredients and it's a multi-use skincare and it says where you apply is your business. Okay, and apparently there's only five ingredients. Wait, let, me, let me read that. It says there's claiming there's only five. It says lanolin, lanolin oil, Sambuscus nigra fruit extract, and discharge phosphate and anthocyte. All right, but apparently these are tints that you can use wherever you please. I'm assuming for me, it's probably gonna be lips, cheeks, and like, that's it maybe. <laughs> I can't think of anywhere else to use it. Apparently, based off this packaging, the dark red one is from Elderberry, and this pinkish one is Sweet Potato, and then this one in the center that's like a red, almost like orangey color, is Red Radish. All right, bars. I'm gonna try putting this on myself. Oh, she's light. Is this the kind of tint that you put on and it like dries and peels? Cause it's looking like a gloss, if you ask me. <sighs> oh my fuck. Can you even see that? It's sheer, dude. Like, what is that? Formulated with our legendary multi-use balm, famous for its long-lasting and ultra-hydrating effect, tinted with a 100% natural pigment, rich in natural antioxidants. It is Dr. Lip, by the way. Smell test. Smells like nothing, which is probably good. Well, I don't... It's looking like a gloss, bro. But, I mean, it's pretty. Like, it's a tinted gloss, but maybe it... Okay, I didn't know if it was, like, one of those things that, like, actually tints your skin. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, that's... 
that's it everyone and by the way i said in the last video that the ipsy bag was a drawstring bag and i thought that it wasn't always a drawstring bag but i guess that's their new thing so you know i got that wrong and this lipstick is drying so pretty it's almost turning out like a dark red now but no, that's none of my business. Okay, that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed looking at my new stuff I got. I had a great time, but I will have to see you guys next week on Thursday with a new video, and hopefully it's a good one. I don't know. Maybe. All right. I will see you guys next week. All right. Bye.